So you've worked to Europe with that QRP? Yeah. From home. All right. Yeah, this used to be my home rig once upon a time. Awesome. Uh, Good morning. We're gonna do something a little different today. You can see uh, I got my mountain bike here. So we're gonna uh, ride up Cowles Mountain. I'm gonna be with uh, November 7 Delta Alpha. So let's get unloaded and get cracking. Okay, that's part of it. I guess we're gonna head up the street a little bit. It seems like maybe So. This, just finding where to park and everything, I knew it was going to be an adventure this morning. I wasn't sure exactly the... Fuck. My biggest issue is I can't get out of my SPDs. My pedals. Technical than this. Don't drink any drinks at noon, dude. Alright. I'm gonna stop the rest of us. All right. My heart's pounding so much, I need image stabilization. <laughs> <laughs> Hit a rock the wrong way down there. So Boom. On climbs, just a very small rock will bust your momentum too. It's really weird. So that gave me a lot of fits when I was starting out. I hopped off because I looked at this. I couldn't see how to get over it. Looking at it now, I'm thinking I could, but this would be the easiest line. Like this one, it's getting the back wheel over. It's tricky. Now, I know there's some steep enough sections on this. I'm gonna push just to retard you. <laughs> we need to the back of Thank you. You can laugh if I crash up here too, dude. Hey, you get it all okay, on your left. No problem. Have a good day. Go, Drew. Go, Drew. Keep going. Keep going. All right. Drew, November 7, Delta Alpha. How was it, man? bit of a climb yeah no way I could have done it without e-bike dude <laughs> I'm not in shape hike a bike so we did a little bit of single track I am a complete novice so most of that was walking for me uh, Drew took a run at some of it and uh, then this last part even on the on the service road is really steep but we're up here and we're kind of off the main area where most people go which is right over there so we'll try to get some HF set up over here 
and uh, see if we can't pull in some contacts. Thank you for my first one, W6 Kilo India November, down there in El Cajon on his, I uh, got him on my HT, so. I'm already started, man, I'm oh. activated. Single paddle, NB6M. Yep. Nice. I like the it. only modification is I use springs instead of jam nuts. Okay. Uh, somebody on QRPL tipped me off on that idea. That works great. That is a good idea. And, and then the classic ZM2, MTEC ZM2 tuner. Okay. Sweet. With none of the labels. Oh, that's upside down. None of the labels on the front panel like they're supposed to be. <laughs> so I have to remember what's what. See, I wouldn't know the difference upside down, right side up. And then show me your radio again. It's running ultralight today. All right, and what's the board you got in there? Oh, oh perfect, like the little labels. ATS-3B. Oh, nice. Rev-1. And Altoids. And you got one watt coming out? Uh, I, I need to measure sometime. It's probably gonna be water to you. I don't know what and this battery voltage. And then for the voltage. piece television stance. Five more bands. Ha <laughs> ha, sweet. Love it. All right. You'd think uh, you were an RF guy. Uh, KD1JV. You, you don't know anything about RF, do you? KD, uh, <laughs> KD1JV has designed some fun radios. So you've worked Europe with that QRP? Yeah. From home. All yeah, right. This used to be my home rig once upon a time. Awesome. Uh, two way QRP during a QRP contest with Australia. I copied the location AUS. I'm like, oh, VK, oh, that's Australia. All right. <laughs> so that was fun. But uh, yeah, I finally put the menu on because I hadn't used this for a few years. In the spring for Soto, it was the first time I used it in a long time. I had to look up how to use the menus uh, and stuff. Gotcha. So I put this label on there to remind me of all the functions and features. Sweet. That is a cool little build. Yeah, it's got you know it's tuning. It's got DDS VFO. It's got uh, you can. It's got tune mode, so you can le uh, hit tap the paddle and have it uh, hold the transmitter up while you adjust the tuner. Uh, split transmit split and receive split. Uh, keyer speed. You can directly enter the frequency with the paddles if you don't want to up down tune. Uh, it'll it'll enunciate the frequency. Um, uh, you can do straight key, reverse your paddles, all that kind of stuff. It's got memory here. Uh, it'll also read the battery voltage too. Ah. So, and for the readouts, it'll send the readout in Morse code, but also display it on the single seven segment LED display. So that's kind of fun too. <laughs> that is cool. That is very cool. But yeah, the ATS, the Appalachian Trail series of rigs that KD1JV did, and ah. uh, several vendors are selling his derivatives now. MTR, mm -hmm. that all the Soto folks like these days, right. is a derivative of this. Oh, and, damn, okay. Um, I think, was it uh, one of the other QRP vendors, I'm forgetting the name right now, also uh, sells some of his designs as well. So it's a. Uh, any 602 based receiver, so it's not going to hold up in a multi multi contest station. Q so. QRP guys? Uh, not QRP guys, no, no. Um, He's got, oh, link dipoles? Okay. Halfway for 20 and quarter wave counterpoise. Are these link dipoles here? Half wave and a quarter wave counterpoise uh, for NFED configuration for 15 meters. I right, gotcha. All right, that'll work. So.
Um, well, and I'm thinking I may just take the service road that's, down. That's, that, that's fair. That's fair. Because you want to build up skills first and all that. So. Yeah, I'll be. Otherwise, I'll be walking that other way all the way back. You should drop your feet. I'll be all right. Give me one more injury I can talk about tonight. with uh, November 7 Delta Alpha. And I think I got around 20 contacts. I did a bunch of chasing, probably five summit to summits. So how'd you do? I have checked the log, about seven stations, uh, one DX France on 17. Oh, sweet. Yeah, that's great. That's awesome. DX with one watt. I'm gonna have to measure with the output powers. The, the battery voltage was lower than what that radio is designed for. So I'm sure it was down a little bit. Okay. I'll have to measure and see. What it does All right, let voltage. me know we'll put it on the uh description here that's pretty cool man yeah. i didn't uh, i didn't get down to 17 so or i did for a little bit but didn't pick up anything that's the first band i got on so i got spotted on that and that's when the crowd showed up for me so okay all right yeah did a bunch of chasing so it was good we uh mountain biked up i did a lot of walking on the single track uh given my skill level and Technical then we and steep yeah. this trail was <laughs> yeah, it was uh, then we rode down the service road, which was no problemo, and then uh, took service Loop, streets around, around back. the streets. Yep. Yeah. So, good activation. Uh, if you want to learn more about how to do the hobby, go to hamninja.com slash soda360. There's a whole learning series there on how to do summits on the air. Until next time, let's roll the credits. <laughs>